Velvet's Buzzsaw is Dan Gilroy's follow-up to Nightcrawler, a movie that just literally took the movie-going world by storm because it was such a fantastic tale told really well. Uh, in that movie, we had Jake Gyllenhaal and Rennie Russo who follow Dan Gilroy over to Velvet Buzzsaw and this one is based around the art world. We have Gyllenhaal's per, uh, character who is Morph, an art critic who is pretty much... Uh, the be all end all of his world. What he says goes and he can make or break an artist. We have uh, Redora, which is Rene Russo's character and she is the owner of an art gallery, somebody that is doing particularly well and seems to be on the same wavelength as Morph a lot of the time. We have Josephine, who is her kind of uh, personal assistant, somebody's trying to break free into the art world, trying to do what she can, but she just needs a break. And we have some other characters round about this now. Josephine discovers uh, in a flat above her where a man has just passed away that he was an artist and had a, a whole host of artwork and this seems to just take hold of the artwork. People find it fascinating and her and uh, Rodona fake some lies, pretend that they found this legitimately and try to make a lot of money off of this. Now, sounds like one kind of storyline but it's actually a horror movie it is a horror movie where the the cast of characters are horrible every single one of them has some irredeemable feature or, or something just nasty about the way they act in this world you know we have people who have uh, principles who have points to make that are easily swayed further on down the line we have this mysterious artwork that seems to infect everybody's souls and spirits uh, and just take over almost and we have a really interesting tale where there seems to be some kind of spirit or something or other is never fully explained which is taking out these people whose moralistic choices are wrong who are being led down a path, who are doing things incorrect, all to do with this artist of these, the person who's passed away and left all these works of art. And I think Velvet Buzzsaw is a tremendous movie. I instantly found myself attracted to it. I love the look of it. I love the idea of this kind of smarter than most horror movies, where the characters are very much more fleshed out than you would expect, with some really terrific performances. And with this kind of cast, what else are you going to expect but terrific performances? Gillian Howe, again, proves himself to be one of the best working actors today. Rennie Russo gets a really meaty role here as a manipulative gallery owner. We get some, some really good secondary performances as well. We have John Malkovich as one of the rare artists in this world who has kind of lost his spark for creativity. And we get a young assistant, Coco, who seems to be an idea of somebody that's just come into this world, an innocent who is getting passed from power to post and getting punished for things that are out with her control. And that's the whole thing about this movie. It's all about these people who do a lot of their damage with words, who do a lot of it with malice, with an intent to bring the other person down. These are all backstabbing, twisted, People who just want to take the pleasure in tearing other people down, who want to covet uh, the word of a critic because it can make or break their show, it can sell all the artwork or it can sink it all. It is a fascinating world to go into, so much so that I found myself re-watching this a couple of times and I've got to say I, I truly do love it. I think it's the, the best movie I've seen this year so far, it really just spoke to me in ways that I haven't seen with too many other movies. And it's something that I wanted to revisit really much almost immediately after finishing the first watch of it because I found this world stunning. It's the characters that really make it for me. You know, very rarely do you get characters, uh, you know, as many as this that are as fleshed out as three-dimensional or just plain downright horrible as they are within this movie. The horror is there, but it's kind of washed and, 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 and thinned down a lot you know, it doesn't come to you thick and fast that typical horror movies, it's the idea of this almost justice killer in the form of this, this paintings, the artwork that comes alive to destroy these people who are using it for their own means. And that's, that's one of the thematics of the movie that I really latched on to, the, the way that people 
are are twisted and turned and have their morals corrupted by somebody else within their life. You know, you get Morph who is manipulated by Josephine into becoming something he doesn't want to 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 um, to almost soil his criticism, uh, his legacy because of love. You get uh, Rodona who wants to just manipulate everybody for the money whatever she has to do she will do it she you've see her in, in several scenes just verbally just telling blatant lies to get what she wants and and we have other characters as well like Gretchen we have somebody who is in the art world for the love of the art you know she runs a gallery uh, and she's moving into being a, a, someone who helps rich people buy up this art and she, the, the character of her um really changes throughout because it goes from this really nice energetic character to a really manipulative, power-hungry, twisted individual at the end of it. And that's what I love about this, the way the characters change dramatically. And almost all uh, for the worse as well. I think it's a, a really uh, visually striking movie. I, I liked the way it looked, I loved it, the, the way it was designed, the, the twisted... Uh, and crazy pictures that are there that are all the way through it. I love the fact that this is all about art, where the artists are sidelined. You know, they're a byproduct of this money making machine. You know, they, they're almost incidental to this whole thing. The people who are creating the art that they're all coveting and fighting over are incidental. They don't really want to have to deal with them, they just want the product and to push it on. I liked Velvet. But I saw a lot. Uh, terrific movie. Um, highly recommended. It is a polarising movie. It is not a movie for everybody. There seems to be uh, lots of detractors as well as people who love it as well. For me, I'm definitely in the love it scale. I've watched it three times. Um, I'm probably going to watch it more this year because I do think it's fantastic. I'd love to know your thoughts on Velvet Buzz. So let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on it. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.